Welcome to the Pythagorean Theorem and the Coordinate Plane. Today we're going to talk about finding the distance between two points in the coordinate plane. First thing you want to do is plot the two points on a coordinate plane. Second, you want to draw a line segment to connect the two points in the coordinate plane. Third, we will draw two additional line segments to form a right triangle. Fourth, we'll calculate the distance of the hypotenuse of the triangle we created using the Pythagorean theorem. So let's go to the next slide and here we are. So here's an example. We're going to go through those four steps to find the distance between these two points. So step one is to plot the two points on the coordinate plane. So here I plotted one, six, and negative three, negative two. Step two, draw a line segment to connect the two points. Step three, draw two additional line segments to form a right triangle. Part of that step, you want to find the units of the measurement of the two legs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units for this leg and four units for the smaller leg. This diagonal line that we're trying to find the length of is my hypotenuse C. Step four, we want to calculate the distance of the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Evaluate for the values of the legs four and eight. Do the math, four squared is 16 plus eight squared is 64. Add 16 and 64 to get 80. Take the square root of both sides and see my hypotenuse is equal to 8.9 units. Traditionally, you're gonna to round to the nearest tenth unless the instructions to tell you to do something else. So go ahead and pause the video now and see if you can find the distance between these two points. When you have found the answer, please hit play and check your answer. So here I've plotted four, seven, and negative six, negative three. I found the length of both legs, which is 10 and 10, and I'm looking for that diagonal distance C, the hypotenuse. So I use the Pythagorean theorem. I evaluate with the legs A and B, both are 10. 10 squared is 100, so 100 plus 100 is C squared. C squared equals 200. Take the square root of both sides. The square root of 200 is 14.1 units when rounded to the nearest tenth. All right, so now we can also use this to find the perimeter of a triangle in the coordinate plane. So we're going to graph the triangle given these ordered pairs, and we want to find the perimeter. So the perimeter is the distance around the triangle, the sum of all three sides. All three of these sides are diagonally placed in the coordinate plane. So we need to create three right triangles and find the hypotenuse of each right triangle. Triangle one will have lengths two and legs two and 10. Triangle two will have legs of one and six. And triangle three will have legs of four and six. So we have to do three different computations to find the three different sides to the triangle. So the hypotenuse of each, the purple triangle, would have, once you do the math, using the Pythagorean theorem, you're going to get 5.4 units. The green hypotenuse is going to be 6.1 units. And the orange hypotenuse is going to be 7.2. So now we have the measurements. This triangle side is 5.4. This side is 6.1. And this side is 7.2. So last step, the perimeter, add all three sides up together, and you get 18.7 units. Thanks for joining me today.